Hello people and welcome back to Sabtech. Uh, last episode ended poorly with um, the alloy, I think. Uh, the redstone alloy. And then I realized that it has to be an alloy. But, you know, it's, I'll explain that a little bit later. But what I did do is, you can see up here, is I add another layer to the top of the tower and I added some more windmills because we're going to start getting into the electricity part. So I figured I might as well go ahead and had a couple up there or just one up there. And so I expanded a little bit, add the next level to for the next age as well. And that is just nether brick. Use a chisel to change the color. So just get that from nether brick from the nether. And uh, with a simple chisel, you can get that look. The color brick is pretty simple, pretty cool. I just, I just added it really quickly just to keep going. Um, Oh well. So anyway, the alloy, the reason I, I was trying to make these things work with the redstone and then I just finally, it just finally dawned on me when I finally read it, it just for some reason, it, alloy. And then I, and then I saw, um, that if you want to make it as an alloy, you have to, uh, There you go. Smelt it. And then I, I finally clicked on this. I'm like, oh, an alloy. And then I saw the alloy smelt there. And then I'm like, okay, that's what it is. So you got to mix uh, redstone, gold, or glowstone. Oh, wow, glowstone. I think I have some glowstone. So it should be good. I thought it was gold. Um, I'll just come back to the... So we need to make... Glowstone and then this Constantine. And Constantine is another alloy, which is nickel and copper, which you think it would be able to do it through the the kiln. I don't know. Let's see if that'll work. There's bronze. Here's some copper. I'm sure I have nickel around here somewhere. Block of aluminum. Silver, platinum, nickel. I don't have any ingots, but I have a blocks here. So let's get some ingots going. Just so we have them. Yeah, and I, I, I went out and I found the uh, other um, alloys or uh, metals will be needed that we'll be needing. And that is... Um, Marked them here on my map. And it was these these ones I did find. Like this laminite is nickel and iron mined together. So you'll you'll mine through that and you'll get nickel and iron. And then there was a Galena, um what was it called? This one here. Galena. That sample will turn into uh where was it? Oh here it is. This is double here. Will turn into lead and silver. So that's where I got the lead and silver from. That mine there. So let's see if this alloy smelter works here. Oh, cool. It looks like it will. Let's see if it does it. Uh, I won't need to melt it in there. This this should probably make Constantine. I don't know how much I'm going to need. There we go. Two ingots. Um, so if we go back to this, need the plate. Uh, we need to. Make this alloy. So we're gonna need uh, one and a half. What's 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 uh, an ingot? It's almost half more of this Constantine. We're gonna need than the other to make uh, the alloy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make a, a block of each. We already did eight uh, copper. Make a block. Go ahead and get that going. All right. Anyway, that's not even what I wanted to do today. Just something that popped up. Okay. 
So last episode, we did make this drill. So to make the power of this drill, we're going to need a uh, capacitor and uh, stuff along that scent, right? So here we go, capacitor. I'm just going to make a really quick one here just to get this thing working. So I'm going to make it do a low voltage one because I think that's all it needs. I hope it's all it needs. Um, and then we'll be able to, uh, I can do a high voltage one later once I make a, I guess I can just make a high voltage one, but I don't want to make have high voltage wire to run it and stuff like that. So let's just, I'm going to with the low voltage one just in case. If it doesn't work, then I'll make a high voltage one. Wow, look at that. I can see the outline of... So, oh, okay, this is showing the... You have it in your hand. I'm guessing it shows you the, the chunk. Ah, oh, pretty cool. Cool, I don't have to make up the chunk. This thing will just show me the chunks. Okay. That'll be good. So let me put this away. Let's do the capacitor, which is um, treated planks. And copper, lead, we have lead now, and iron. So if we get some copper here. Let's go ahead and chop up both those blocks. And do we have any iron in here? We have iron in here already. And lead. We don't have yet, so we'll do a block of lead here. Some more copper, because this is going to be needed throughout um, throughout the this recipe, I think. Oh, cool! Put the block already in there. That's nice. Okay, so I can put this back. We'll just hang on to this and treated wood. And then I think we need a redstone as well. I think we got some redstone in here. Um, treated wood, I think I keep out here somewhere. Nope. Um, did I put it back in here? Yep, here we go. So we got some treated planks. So with that, we should be able to make this low voltage capacitor. There we go. Okay. So does that mark off anything? No, nothing popped up. So also what we're going to need is wire and um, the connectors. So I think, I think you just use copper wire. I am... I'm guessing for low voltage, which I have a couple laying around, but we need these connectors, low voltage wire connectors. Oh, okay, so we need a terracotta, which is clay. Um, I always forget this, but I remembered that I can get clay. I go here and sleep really quick. You can get clay um, from the the fishing. Um, net strainer things I have set up. One of those um, gets clay. Yeah, here we go. So I can take, oh, it's going to take all of it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take half of it and um, put it in here for safekeeping maybe. I don't know, maybe I should look for uh, for where it is. See which chest it's in. I think I have some around somewhere. There we go. There's some in here. So I'm going to take half of this. And I'm going to crush it up into um, blocks. All right. Do we have any blocks in here already? Okay, we already have two in there. Let's turn this off. The filter. I think I just saw when I put it in here, I had some more blocks in here. Okay. 
So to make, we at least need four of these. Right, for this, um, let's get back to the wires. For this connector, yeah, we need four terracotta that makes four connectors, that'll be enough. So we'll make those, need some more copper. We have seven of copper, I think. So, and then, oops, let's go ahead and uh, put those, get this, start getting this lined up here. It's almost done. And uh, I have some wire here, so I'm guessing two should do it. I'm gonna put the um, treated wood back. Let's make up some, make some room here. So when we go out, um, oh, I guess I don't need that right now. I'm gonna put this away as well. redstone I'm going to put back in here because some of these recipes need the redstone. Oops. All right. So we have the four terracotta. Now this should do the connectors. All right. So on top, I don't know what these, these do. Um... Oh, how to do that? I don't know how I switched it. Oh, well, okay. So right clicking on it, I don't know if with an open hand does it, but with an engineer's hammer, you can um, you can make each side be blank or output or input. Looks like. So what we'll do is go back and I'm guessing that's what the blue is for. We want this to be orange though, right? I guess for input, I don't know. But anyway, and then can these wires hook to it? No. Nope. So, what is the, I guess we want LV. Maybe I should put LV in there. So, LV wire coil? Let's try that. Um... Luckily, I have a couple more in here, and I have sticks on me, so we should be relatively set. Okay, and then two. All right, so that should do it. Now we have to get the capacitor to work, or charge up. And we're gonna go up to the top and do that. We're gonna climb the window. Yeah, see, it's just an open room. These are the bricks. It's pretty nice. Um, let's. So if I. Theory. I don't know, maybe we can do it from one brick away. Let's try it. Put the engineer's hammer in. All right, so if I um, put a connector there and a connector there, so in theory, I should be able to connect this wire to this wire. Okay. So this should be charging. Nope. So let's put the engineer's hammer 
in my hand and see what we can get to happen here. Oh, there we go. So blue, I don't know. I have no idea what that means. But the blue on top of the orange, the blue color is doing input. So this is charging up. Ooh, okay, so it's bare wire getting next to it, it shocks you. So we'll, I'll let that charge up a little bit because I have no idea what the um, oil uh, thing is going to to take, not the oil thing, what is it here? Um, this is the core sampler. I don't know how much energy it's going to use to do each sample, so we might as well let this thing charge up. I don't know if there's any way to make it charge faster. Could we um, could we double team it? Can I attach this wire here? Well, <clears throat> that's weird. I figured you could double them up, but I guess not. I wonder how you uh, go about that. I'll have to figure that out. I, I can't imagine you can't put only one wire to one connector because how do you go, oh, relays. You need to have a relay, right? Is that what it, those things are called? Let's see here. Yeah, these will probably let you go from, make you chain them up, but it looks like um, you can't do it off of uh, the connectors. So 24,000 now. Yeah, that's enough. I'm not. Um, hopefully, I get the wire back. There it is. Hopefully, that will hold its charge, and I can just leave that one there. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, let's check see if it holds its charge. That's the whole point of a capacitor. Yep. Okay, we're good. So let's go on down, and we will check our backyard for oil. And we'll, if we get lucky, there'll be some oil right here. So if we put this in our hand, this should show us the chunks. Okay. All right. So let's just go right here. We'll check this chunk right here. Oh, wow. That's bigger than I thought it would be. I don't know why, but it is. So if we um, hook up a connector, and then if we hook the battery, let's say put the battery a capacitor right here, and then one up here, and then we can hook this up. So hook that to that. I don't know why you cannot attach a wire to the same point. There we go. So is that working? That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, that's right. We're going to have to switch. That's an input. So... So now if we turn it to, uh, with the hammer, turn it to orange, should be output. There we go. And then, okay, I left clicked the hammer on there to get the drill going. So there goes the drill. This must be doing the sample. Okay, there we go. Got a sample of uh, lava. So down in this hole, or in this chunk, and I think you can put these down on the ground here too, like, um, there we go. So we have lava. So if you want to mine lava, it's in that chunk. So there you go. There's the, there's the core sampler. That's how you do it. 
Uh, episodes run a little bit longer because I had a, ran a couple little issues I had to figure out with the wire, but here it is what it is. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. That's how you do your sampling. So I'm going to go around and um, eventually do sampling looking for oil. That's our, uh, that's our next big thing. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. And on that note, thanks for watching. And until next time, good day.